Okay, ladies. So the first way the devil will use food to completely destroy your life is he's going to attack your weight. And this is exactly how he's going to do it. Um, let's say you're scrolling on TikTok. You see someone eating a six-piece lemon pepper wing combo, right? So you run to Uber Eats and you get you a six-piece because it looks so good. And, and you get it. And it's so good. You dip it in that ranch. It's so good. And then the next day. You see somebody eating a seafood boil, crab legs, shrimp. Oh, it's just dipped in that sauce. It looks so good. You eat that the next day. The third day, it's not even social media. You feeling like you want a big juicy burger from Burger King. The next day, oh, Taco Bell got them Doritos Local Tacos. Let me get that with a big uh, Baja Blast. Now, a whole week done passed and you just cater to all your comforts. You just cater to your flesh, right? You, you did not, not one time did you have a healthy meal. And now this goes on week by week. Next thing you know what, you wake up three months later and you were nice and petite. That waist was snatched. You was at a whopping 130. And now you are, you step on the scale and you were 185 pounds. And you like, dang, what the hell happened? Like, I don't even eat that much. I eat, I don't eat, I don't know. It's not you. If you have a feeling, if you've been experiencing like um, out of nowhere, like you get these serious cravings, like you have to have fast food, you have to have this, I want you to know there's a spirit behind that. The spirit of gluttony is running rampant in this generation. There's nothing wrong with, you know, um, catering to your, giving into your cravings once in a while, but you got to be very careful because Food is not looked at something harmful. Food is not looked at as something dangerous that you got to be careful and watch out for. So that's why, the, that's why the devil uses food. It's so easy to attack people because people don't see food as an attack, but it is. I had to give myself that my own advice. You guys, my body was the best it was ever looking two, three years ago, right? I lost all, all that weight. I even went vegan. And then one day of me feeding into my cravings turned into two. Then it turned into three, then four, then five. Next thing you know it, I was at my goal weight of 130. I, I stepped on the scale, I was 178. I was like 20 pounds away to my heaviest weight. And that's when I knew, oh no, I cannot let the spirit of gluttony take over me. I had to, get, I had to quickly like stop what I was doing, right? That brings me to number two. Not only does he use food to attack your weight, all right? And what happens when the devil attacks your weight? When you gain weight, what happens? Low self-esteem, confidence issues, right? Nothing fits right, so you don't want to go out. Men don't even look at you no more. I'm not, even, I'm not trying to say, like, we need men validation. But let's say, you know, you are a single woman looking for love. You know, people, I feel like the internet is so fake. People always make it seem like, oh, love the skin you're in. But in the real world... Cause I, I, when I, I can speak for myself. Cause when I was overweight, it doesn't matter if my face was pretty. Dudes was not checking for me. Cause I had love handles. I had a stomach. They can't even tell if I was six months pregnant or not. Okay. I had a beer belly. I was not looking good at all. I, you know what I'm saying? I just, and not to say that if you're a bigger weight, you don't look good because listen, you can still look good. I don't want you to hate your body because you're overweight. It is what it is. Love your body, but at the same time, once you see that the devil has an attack on your weight, that's when you gotta wake up and be like, oh no, the devil's not gonna have me. The devil's not gonna have me because gluttony is a sin. And I didn't realize why food was a sin or eating too much was a sin, and now I see why. Because it leads to so many issues. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through the, the rest of the list. Once I walk you through the rest of the list, you're gonna be like, wow, like I need to really do a serious check on food, right? So yeah, I end up gaining, I end up gaining like 30 pounds within like two months one time because every day I was eating bad. So if my story sounds similar to yours, I'm telling you, this is a warning. God is telling you, slow down. Because if you don't slow down, it's not just your weight you gotta worry about, which brings us to number two. The devil will use food to to attack your finances. Mm -hmm. Comment below if you, last few months, you know, you've been trying to save money. Every time you get paid, you don't know where that money goes. Uh, then after you have that thought, I want you to go and check your account statement, right? Go online, go to your, your, your banking, wherever banking app you have, 
And I want you to look at those transactions and then add it up for the week. Add up every single time you bought, you purchased food, and you went out, you know, you, you purchased fast food or you ordered Uber Eats, calculate that. Cause I did. I didn't know where my money was going until I realized, yo, you spent almost $1,500 on Uber Eats this month. Cause I was catering to my flesh. If I wanted a seafood boil that that's fifty, that's fifty dollars. Cause think about it: if you order Uber Eats, you order seafood boil that's that costs fifty dollars on the app, with all the taxes and everything, it comes to eighty dollars. There's been times I ordered red lobster. I wanted a lobster, shrimp, and salmon, and I want mussels. It come out to a hundred dollars, and I'm not thinking nothing of it. I'm just like, oh, I got the money. Like, no. Next, you know what? You're gonna see your your, your money depleting. Next, you know what? You're gonna be taking money from your savings putting in your checking just so you could pay your bills. Whole time is because food has a chokehold on your money and has a chokehold on you. Don't believe me? Keep eating. Keep eating out. Keep eating Uber Eats. And I promise you, you're going to be begging, calling different family members to help you, you know, can I can I get $200 for my rent? For if you don't start cooking at home, get you a bag of rice, some vegetables, and some protein and meal prep, that's gonna save you money, it's gonna keep you healthy, and it's gonna keep you disciplined. Because as women of God, even men of God, you have to be disciplined. It's very important. If you're not disciplined with what you put in your mouth and how you're spending your finances, in the Bible it says that people who get drunk and they eat and they they soon they soon become poor, they soon become broke. I didn't understand that. When I read that scripture in the Bible, I didn't understand. How getting, how drinking all the time and eating good all the time is gonna make you broke, because God is that God is just saying that there's nothing wrong with eating what you want, drink what you want, but you gotta do everything in moderation because it can. That's how it can destroy your life. You're gonna next, you know it. You 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 four or five hundred pounds and you know you need assistance to get up. This is a real life. There's a lot of people when I watch Six Hundred Pound Life, I feel for them. There, it's not like they want to be greedy. Food is now an addiction. And if you ever suffer from addiction, it's not something that you just, all right, I'm just going to stop eating. It's an addiction. Before your body gets addicted to food, God is telling you today to stop what you're doing. Before you end up going broke and can't pay your bills, God is saying stop ordering Uber Eats and go and go to that market and cook your own food and start eating healthy. Treat your body because our bodies is not our own. Our bodies is for, for God. Our bodies is our temple. God says, you want to see a God-fearing person? You're going to see them by the way they look. You're going to see them by their fruits. If somebody has a gluttonous spirit, you're going to see it on them. I had, a, I had, you could tell, there was one time where I feel like you could tell I had a gluttony spirit. You could tell I said no to nothing. But now that I'm disciplined, I chill out, right? I chill out. What happened? Body. You think it's easy for me to not want to eat out every day? Especially when you have the money to do it? I got to be disciplined because I know how I felt when I was overweight. It wasn't a good feeling. And on top of that, I know financially what toll it took on me too. Spending $1,500, $2,000. And that's not even food. Off subject, if you find yourself going out every weekend, that $200, that $300, it adds up. If you go out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you're spending $100 here, $60 here, $300 a week, three, six, nine, twelve. That's $1,200 you're spending a month on entertainment. How about you go out once in a blue or don't go out at all? Chill at the crib, save your money so that you can put the down pay on, payment on the house. And now you have an asset where you could turn into Airbnb and make thousands of dollars. Or you could, you could rent it out, rent out that place, and you don't even have to work because you know, the, the, the place that the house that you bought, you know, your tenants, you know, they're paying, they're paying for your lifestyle. Be smart about your coins. When God blesses us financially, you can't be irresponsible with it. I was irresponsible. Trust me. I'm telling you this from experience. I was ir irresponsible so I could talk about it. I'm telling you this video is a prophetic. I feel like this video is a prophetic warning on me. I woke up and the Holy Spirit told me because I was like, what is going on with my life? Like, I just, I'm gaining weight. I'm losing money. And the Holy Spirit was like, girl, it's food. You don't have no control over food. 
have control over that and 90% of your problem is going to be gone. Moving on to number three. This is how the devil will use food to destroy your life and ruin your calling. What happens when you eat bad constantly over, over a long period of time? Fast food over a long period of time, right? All these heart clogging artery type of foods that's so delicious, right? But it has some crazy long-term effects. You could have been perfectly healthy, but ever since out of nowhere you started eating out and just catering to your, your cravings, three months go by. Now, you, you know, you, it's like shortness of breath. You go to the doctor, oh, you have diabetes now. You have high blood pressure. You have to control this or you could get a stroke and die. You gotta monitor your insulin now. If you don't, you're gonna die. Oh, and insulin is like $800 a month. But, all, and now you're looking at your medical expenses. You don't even have health insurance, do you? Now, you just found out you got diabetes, you got you went to the hospital, so now you got this twenty ten fifteen thousand dollar hospital bill, and you feel you're feeling horrible, okay? Some people even get diagnosed with cancers, right? Like it's really serious, all because of food. Think about it. The hospital bills, obesity, um, your health, your your health. Is food really worth it? As women of God, children of God, man of God, food is not worth it. It's okay to give in once in a while. Hell, after after I do after I film my content, I'm gonna treat myself to something. But you know what? Today's Sunday, Monday through Friday, I'm eating clean. Even when I'm even on Saturday, or even on the weekends, I don't do too much because I don't want high black, high blood pressure. I don't want high cholesterol. All of that. I don't want those things. So to prevent all of that, just stop it. Be disciplined. Don't and then all on top of that, if you full, if you if you feel like, oh, I'm full and you still eating, that's gluttony. Don't do that. That's how you gain weight. Respect your stomach. If you're full, you're full. Save your food for later. Or don't save it at all. That's another thing. Like, you know, I used to, I had to get out of the habit of always saving my leftovers. You know what I'm saying? Especially if the food was not healthy. Like, why you want to eat it again later? You know, you're, it's bad enough that you had it. You had it, okay, leave it alone. You need to be eating fruits and vegetables and green juice. You, you will never go to the hospital for, for eating clean, for eating vegetables, for eating, for drinking smoothies and green juice. Think about that. I want the best for y'all. I want the best for me. I want us to thrive. But it's the food, y'all. The food is killing us. And I feel like God put it in my spirit to make this video today for a reason. To open your eyes, to see like why your life been the way it is this, you know, for the past few months. And the fourth and final thing is the devil will use food to send an attack on your mental health. Cause as I said earlier, when you gain weight or let's say you, you find out you have all these health issues, what happens when you hear all these bad news? It takes a toll on your mental health. You're depressed. You don't even want to get outside of bed. You're thinking like, dang, I can't believe I let it get to this point. And by then, sometimes it's too late. But a lot for a lot of you, it's not too late. Okay? Don't start eating clean once you diagnose with something. Eat clean now. Work out now. Save your money now. If you're used to eating out three, four times a week, so probably try it once or twice. And then, uh, and then you eventually get used to not, and then you eventually just start cooking your, your meals at home completely. But at the rate that, but at the rate that you're going right now, it's not going to be looking too good for you, mamas. It's not. So I hope this message was an eye opener for you because it definitely was a game changer for me. And don't get me wrong. I still struggle sometimes, but I always have to be like, uh, uh, remember how with the devil, how the devil will use food to attack you. Be careful now. And then I'm back to my senses. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I never do this type of... I never did a video like this. Like, this is so random and bizarre. But it was on my spirit. When you wake up with something on your spirit, I feel like that's a warning from God. So, I hope you guys, you know, really internalize this video. And it helped you um, self-reflect on what you got going on and your relationship with food. I know food is a touchy subject for some people. Some people have eating disorders, and I, I pray that God heals you from that. But, but, but you got to make a change.
You gotta, you gotta make a change. You gotta start now. And then you're gonna be so proud of yourself. Once you, once you have it under control, you no longer like, you know, eating so crazy and this and that. You're gonna look at your body and you're gonna wake up one day, you're gonna be feeling good. You're not gonna feel no joint pain. No, you're not even gonna need no take no pain medications for nothing. Cause you're healthy, you're eating clean, you're working out. Now you're looking like a snack. It's true what they say, you are what you eat. So you gotta be careful. But anyways, I'm gonna, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, Bella gang or no gang. I love y'all.